Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through another one of my favorite RVs. This is a 2023 Newmar London Air and it's the 4569 floor plan which if you've seen my other couple videos you know I love this. This is my new favorite floor plan. I'll explain a little bit more about that when we go inside. On the outside you can see we've got the Nova Gerard awning package. Full coverage, plenty of shade for a nice sunny day. This has the Kelso graphics, which I think is a really classy look. And also has the Hayworth decor inside that I really like. I'll show that to you here in a little bit, but we're gonna get started up front. This is gonna be on a Spartan chassis. So we're gonna have our hydraulic steps here. One of the, one of the benefits of buying a high-end coach is you get three hydraulic steps versus the two steps. Makes it really nice to get in and out of the coach. Again, this is on a Spartan chassis, so you're gonna have uh, 605 horsepower, 1,950 pound-feet of uh, torque. This has the 22-inch Alcoa wheels. And for you tire guys out there, these are 365 70s. And they're 22 and a half inch wheels. Gonna kind of work our way back and point out a couple things. This has the awning package for the windows as well. So you're gonna see a couple of the windows that'll have the awning so that if the sun is kind of creeping in and you don't want to pull the awnings out, you can just use that window awning and keep the glare off of your TV. 150 gallons of fuel, so you can go a long way without having to stop to refuel. You got dual fuel on both sides. Here in this front compartment, you're gonna have your outdoor refrigerator freezer. Whether you're entertaining or living full time and need additional freezer and fridge space, this is really a nice unit to have. You also have the shelf up on top here, so it gives you additional storage for smaller items. Alright, here's going to be our first of our pass-through storage trays, a thousand pound uh, carrying capacity on these. It will slide out in both directions, so it makes it really easy to get all of your gear out. And again, another shelf up top. Since we're right here, I'm going to go ahead and point out the star foundation. You can see these are welded down. This is the subframe that gets welded onto the frame here, the Spartan frame gives you that strong, true, and robust foundation that Newmar is really famous for and gives you that smooth, quiet ride. All right, here is our, our wider tray of the two. And again, it is a pass-through storage. We have our central vac hoses down there on the bottom. Really nice feature to have. Again, keeps you from having to climb in and out. As we get back to this next compartment, I want to point out this masterpiece finish. Look at how nice that looks. The slide out has matching paint. It's not just a solid color. Kind of finishes off that real classy look. All right, here we're gonna have another big storage compartment, some extra tiles. You can see back there, that's the backside of the Oasis hydronic system that I will show you here in a minute. Here is our 43 inch TV. That does slide out. You got a Bose soundbar below. Perfect spot to watch the uh, game or favorite movie, whatever you like to watch. Back here, we're gonna have our, our tag axles. So we're gonna have, this is a 292 inch wheelbase plus the tag. The front wheels are cut at 55 degrees. Your passive steer tag axle here is cut at eight degrees. So this will actually turn. Makes, you know, backing into a parking spot, moving around the, the RV site, makes it really easy. Uh, gives you a lot of turning radius, basically. Here is our 15 gallon DEF tank. So DEF is also dual fuel. So you can fill it up here and on the other side. So dual fill, 
Right here is our uh, Spartan emergency suspension fill. So if you happen to have an issue with your air, your air suspension, they can actually, the mobile tech can come out and air up the bags manually through those valves. Help get you back on the road, or at least to a service location near you. Back here we have our two chassis batteries and our two disconnects. Also our air dryer and fuel uh, water separator. Alright, this is on a Spartan K3 chassis. Again, I mentioned 605 horsepower. You've got Big Red back here, 15 liter Cummins. Plenty of room back here. I always point out that you want to carry extra belts with you. Carry an emergency kit that includes those so that you don't get stranded somewhere if you happen to lose a belt. Easy access to your Oasis fluid, your engine oil, check and fill. Also have a quick connect for an air hose. Plenty of room in here to get in there and work around it if you need to. Here is your block heater. Now this has 20,000 pounds of towing capacity. You've got a Voyager connection. So if you're pulling a stacker trailer, you got a Voyager camera on the back of it. You can plug it into there. Here's your seven pin connector. And then your airline for your tow vehicle. You can see we have our backup camera. This is equipped with the 360 camera view. As we move our way around here, you're gonna see we have our side radiator. Gives plenty of cooling for that 605 horsepower. Our emergency escape door is right here on the rear driver's side. I'll open that up for you when we get inside. Here is our def fill on the driver's side. Again, you got 15 gallons. Sewer hose storage if you need it. In between the tag back here, if you kind of zoom in there, you can see our HWH hydraulic leveling system. Nice beefy system that has plenty of power and capacity to, to level your coach. All right, back here in our water bay, you're gonna see a couple things. We have our full uh, house water filter system, our SantaCon system, uh, outdoor shower, hot and cold, paper towel dispenser. You also have a nice touch pad here that lets you turn on your generator, check your capacities. It also has the tilt feature, so when you're dumping your tanks, you can hit the tilt feature and it'll lean the coach towards you so that it gets everything out of the tanks. Really nice system to have. You also have your water hose down there on a power reel. Nice clean look. I really like everything about the London Air. You're gonna have 50 amp service. This is equipped with our stacker trailer additional 30 amp connection in there. Also our transfer switch and surge guard. Here is that Oasis hydronic heating system. Provides your hot water and your furnace. If you're gonna be in cold temperatures, if you're gonna be hanging out in Colorado in winter time, you really wanna get something that's equipped for the cold temperatures. Something like the London Air with that hydronic system. Uh, it's got a heated compartment for the water, so it's got ambient heat in there from the Oasis itself, so it helps keep it from freezing. Backside of the larger tray here. Fellas, if you get in trouble, you can always put a sleeping bag and a pillow in there. You got plenty of room. Again, the back side of the smaller tray. You can see here on the driver's side, we have two awning, uh, window awnings here. We have a large one that covers both of the ones in the living area, and then one in the back for the bedroom. All right, here in this front compartment, a couple cool features. This is equipped with two inverters. 
and also two lithium batteries. So each one of those is 320 amp hours. So you have 620 amp hours of lithium. You have dual inverters. That will allow you to run one air conditioner going down the road without having to fire up your generator. As you can see, there's also another slot for an additional battery. So you could throw a third battery in there and really increase your capacity. All right, here in the front, we're gonna have our fuses, some spares. Good spot to clean your windshield with. You got a little washer. And our generator control here to open it up. Underneath here, you're gonna see a couple of things. You're gonna see our 125K generator, our hot water tap, so that when you get to your destination, you can hook up the hose and get the bugs off the front of the coach. You'll also see the two little wimpy city horns. And then your two air horns are gonna be right here. So when you really need somebody to get out of your way, that's, that's how you're gonna get them to move. I've been running the generator so that we have the air conditioner on inside. So you really wanna be careful because your exhaust is right here. It does get pretty warm and so when you're sliding the generator in and out you want to make sure it doesn't catch your leg and give you a nice little burn. Up front here you can see the, the really beautiful front end here. We got the, the 360 camera up top. We have our mobile eye right in the bottom of the windshield here. This does have lane departure. It's got adaptive cruise. It's got a ton of safety features. You're gonna have backup camera, turn signal cameras. You're gonna have keyless entry with doorbell. You can lock and unlock your baggage compartments from this unit as well, makes it really nice. Again, you've got three steps to help you get in and out of the coach. As we walk in, a couple things I wanna point out here on the passenger side. You're gonna have your fire extinguisher down below. You're gonna have your backseat driver panel right here that'll give you access to the navigation, the stereo, the cameras, wireless charging pad. You're gonna have your step cover control here. That'll keep your feet from hanging down while you're trying to get comfortable going down the road. And you're gonna have your patio light, your visors, and your ceiling lights here, and also your map light. Nice little table here if you wanna work on the road. Put your laptop on. Just gonna kinda of start up front, work our way back. Uh, again, it's on a Spartan chassis, so this is gonna give you 605 horsepower. So couple of really nice benefits to the, the big horsepower Spartan is you're gonna have your 20,000 pound towing like I mentioned. You're gonna have your integrated trailer brake control right here. Let me squeeze in. Trailer brake control right here. You're gonna have your parking brake. All your light switches are here. Your auto high beams. This is gonna control the brightness of your buttons here. So if you're going down the road and you wanna dim it up a little bit you can do that right here traction control override your tow window switch right there your air horn on and off house battery merge so this will merge your house and chassis batteries if you need to give yourself a jump start and then this also comes equipped with the heavy tow mode so right now it's off. If you're towing a heavy trailer, a lot of weight back there, you could turn that on and it'll actually move uh, air from one airbag to the other. So it'll uh, give you the best towing ride that you can have. It'll move some of that weight uh, towards the rear so that it'll handle some more weight. Uh, makes it really nice to have. Here on the dash, I'm just gonna point out a couple of things. Again, this video is just to kind of show you what this looks like inside, give you a couple of the features. A couple things I like to point out is your air leveling. 
So there's travel mode, auto level. So this has air leveling, which is really nice. If you're in muddy conditions, use the airbags. Don't use the jack so that they don't get uh, down in the mud and it doesn't work very well anyway if you're in muddy conditions. So uh, you can go to more and this will, you know, give you access to a different, you can do manual leveling, exit out of there. So in your settings, there's your comfort drive. One of the reasons that folks really go to the new Mar product are the comfort drive and the passive steer axle. So comfort drive is awesome. It'll actually loosen up your steering or make it a little tighter gives you some assistance in the wind. So you can kind of play around with that. I like setting it at three when I'm delivering these for folks. You can also go back to your trip. You can see as of right now, we've been average speed of three miles per, <laughs> per hour and we're averaging 5.7 gallons. That's just moving around here. Uh, fuel mileage, you're gonna get between six and eight. Any big coach, uh, if anybody tells you you're going to get 20, they're not telling you the truth. <laughs> Hopefully you don't believe that. A uh, big coach that weighs 54,000 pounds or has a 54K uh, GVW is not going to get you 20 miles per gallon. So um, a lot of features on here. Again, any questions on this, you can always call me. We can do um, a personal FaceTime or we can text back and forth. Here on the left, you're going to have your Allison six-speed transmission. So this is where you'd set your gears, put it in drive, reverse, and neutral. And then you also have your hydraulic leveling. Uh, again, if you're you know, in an RV lot like this, you've got uh, pavement outside, you can just hit auto level and let the jacks do their thing. All right, up overhead here in the compartment, here is your touchscreen. You're gonna have access to your fresh tank levels, your batteries your gen set so this does have auto gen set you can set that according to temperature according to uh, voltage so if you're going to be gone for a while and you want to set your air conditioners uh, to come on at 68 degrees uh, the, the generator will fire up to, to allow that to happen you have all your light controls your shade controls your door locks everything you need to do is right here on this panel over here you're going to have your slide out controls your exterior led lighting your entry step so now it's on, so it'll open and the steps will come in and out as we open the door. You can shut those off. Wi-Fi router right here is your Wi-Fi Ranger Aspen model. You have your WineGuard satellite. These are your awning controls. So right now I'm going to go ahead and retract those. So you go to channel one in, channel two, and that'll bring those two in. You can also shut the lights off. You have your WineGuard over the air channel uh, controller right there. Zantrax solar charge controller. Your window awnings, security lights, your driver privacy drape, and then your door drapes. So again, super comfortable up here. This, you can't, you, you're only watching the video, you can't tell, but this is super soft, uh, really comfortable seats. These will swivel around, become part of your living room, which is really nice if you're entertaining guests. So in the living area, you're gonna have your uh, tri-fold sofa bed right here. This will extend, again, if you have guests with you, you're entertaining, this will open up and do an additional bed. Really nice to have, you know, for unexpected guests. On this side, you're gonna have your theater seats, which are super comfy. Again, I can't tell you enough how much I love this coach. Uh, London Air 4569, super comfortable. When it's time to watch a movie, you go to systems here and then hit TV up or TV lift. That will raise the TV. And then again, you'll have your, um, you've got cup holders on this side. You're gonna have your storage compartment here. If you have magazines, puzzles, anything like that that you wanna store, it gives you plenty of room for storage. Your cup holders are also back they have lighting underneath and you can change the colors 
That way you can claim your seat and make sure they know that if it's red or purple, that's your seat, stay out of it. Honestly, I would probably rather sleep in one of these than I would on the trifold because they are so comfortable. Uh, right above the TV here, we're gonna have our Bose sound bar. This is gonna be your AV cabinet. This is where you would put in your you know, receiver if you're setting up your, your satellite, your Blu-ray player, etc. Everything is soft closing. You're gonna have touchscreen panels throughout the coach uh, for each designated area. So this is gonna work the lights in the kitchen and the wall lights and the accent lights in this area. So everywhere you're at, where you're sitting down, you can access those. All right, I mentioned this is my favorite coach. Um, I really like the kitchen area. This is why this is my favorite coach. You have an actual island here that's permanently uh, fixed. It's not a slide out one. Those kind of small, not very sturdy. This is solid. Gives you a ton of storage or a counter space up here for prep work. You have cutting boards on the back side of these covers for your induction cooktop. The cooktop is removable. You can take it outside and cook if you want. But in a kitchen like this, why would you want to be outside, right? Uh, you're going to have a ton of storage in here. One of the things I hear all the time is, where am I going to put the pots, the pans? Where am I going to put all the silverware? This 4569 floor plan, look at this, gives you a ton of storage. Nice slide outs here. You're going to have your dishwasher. Your front drawer here with all your remotes, we will show you how to work all of those. Induction, or uh, convection oven, sorry, microwave convection. And I like the use of the slide trays so you don't have to be reaching to the back of the cabinet. Especially for those of you that are a little vertically challenged. I don't think I've seen another floor plan that has this much cabinet space. These shelves are adjustable as they are many of the cabinets. You're going to have your dual stainless steel sinks. Again, look at the size of this one here. Uh, if you're going to cook, if you like to eat like I do, you're going to be cooking a lot. This will fit all your dishes, your pots, your pans. Down here, nice spot for your trash can. If you need additional space and you're not using the sink, you can use this as prep space as well. Really nice feature. Uh, you can have a booth dinette. Almost forgot that, walked right by it. You can have your booth dinette super comfortable. You've got two folding chairs under the bed, which I will show you uh, for additional guests to come out. And you have two leaves so you can extend the table out and have uh, some more guests. And here in the living room, you're going to have seven drawer or cabinets. Again, a ton of storage in this floor plan. And you still have really big windows. I have the shades down just because it's kind of warm outside, but a ton of, a lot of window, natural lighting. Of course, you have a big kitchen, you gotta have a big fridge. We've got a residential fridge with ice maker and a really nice size freezer. Of course, you gotta store all the groceries to cook. You got plenty of room in this pantry. You got adjustable um, slides down there so you can put your cookie sheets, your pans. Here in this, Side of the pantry. Gonna have three slide trays so you push in to get them out. That keeps them locked so they don't open while you're going down the road. Adjustable shelves. Now, if you don't need all the pantry space and you need more wardrobe space, so you know, if your wife says, sorry, you got this closet and I got the one in the back, take these shelves out and you have a little bit of wardrobe space right there. I pointed out outside that this does have the central vac system, so there is the uh, the outlet there for your hoses. 
here in the half bath. It's got lots of space. I like the way that the toilet's facing the door so you don't have to, some of the floor plans put it kind of sideways, not a lot of space to sit down and uh, this gives you plenty of room. Back here you're gonna have your breakers. Everything is labeled. I mentioned outside that this has the dual inverter. So you can see here, you have two inverters. So if you're going down the road and your AC stops working, make sure you check the inverter, that, make sure it's not tripped because this is where that front air conditioner is wired to. Fuses, spare fuses. I'm gonna get out here, you can see this. Really nice medicine cabinet and storage underneath. All right, now into the master bedroom here. You do have a pocket door for privacy. Here you're going to have your TV as well and again a ton of storage you're gonna have four these four top drawers are not very tall not very high there you got a couple inches but then you get down to the lower ones you're gonna have six that are really deep you fit a lot of clothes in there and again all soft closing another control panel in here so if you need to adjust temperature check your levels you don't have to walk up to the front Another AV compartment here for receivers, Blu-ray players, etc. You do have an escape window right here. This is actually a really nice ledge. If you like to work from home or have to work from home, you can set up a chair here. You got plenty of room here. There's an outlet right here on the side so you can plug in. We've got a king size bed. You're gonna have two end tables there on the side basically with storage compartments and outlets so you can plug your phones in. Here under the bed you have the two folding chairs and the two extra leaves for the uh, booth. Here overhead you're going to have additional storage. You'll see we have an outlet in there. And underneath here you can show that you're going to have on and off button for the two speakers one on each side of the bed and then another touch panel control with your lights and other um, uh, accessories that you can turn on and off from there so really nice you don't have to get up you just push the buttons there as we move into the bathroom you'll see there's a level change here but there's plenty of room to get around the bed on both sides here is your washer and dryer. So you're gonna have the corner uh, shower here, plenty of room, it's really spacious. We have the flip down seat, the aqua miser, aqua, aqua view system to help you conserve fresh water. And then you have your shampoo dispensers up top. Here is your closet. You have plenty of room for your wardrobe here. If you need to hang stuff, these can come out. You have uh, plenty of room that way as well. And then again, ton of, I can't say it enough. There's a ton of storage in this, this floor plan. I didn't win, unfortunately, I didn't win the Mega Million last night. You know, I don't think anybody did. Sorry for all you guys that were counting on that for your retirement. I know I was. Uh, everybody asked me what kind of coach would you buy if you, if you were gonna buy one, a big one, and honestly, I would buy this floor plan. If I was gonna travel, I would definitely buy the London Air 4569. I really love everything about it. Getting more storage, more closet space. 
Back here is an access panel for the washer and dryer. And then here is your escape door, your emergency exit. So hopefully you never have to use it. If you do, you literally just take off that front panel, unsnap that, drop that down. And now you can climb in and out as needed. A lot of folks actually use that as well to load the coach. If you have stuff that needs to go into the bathroom, you can open that and hand, hand your partner some stuff to put in the bathroom, makes it really nice. Again, we have dual sinks and a huge medicine cabinet here. I'll show you. You do have an outlet in here as well for your hair dryer, razors, whatever you need. Another touch panel there to operate the shades in the bathroom, the lights. And again, ton of storage. All right, well that's pretty much it on this 2023 London Air 4369. Uh, again, it's a beautiful coach got everything you need uh, if you like this unit or any any other ones on the uh, website please give me a call you can text email or just call me directly on my cell phone if you want additional pictures additional video of something just let me know uh, give me a call at 720-276-4241 si hablo espanol me pueden hablar al 720 276 thank you guys for watching i'll see you next week